Can sad tales become happy ones? Common question. In village Behar, central India, weaver Mangali Prasad is a happy man. Though he owns less than an acre of land, hardly enough to feed a family of seven. That is why I went to the city to earn. Worked as a carpet weaver for years. Far away from home. It was difficult. Problems of wages, living. All that headache is over. Now I work from home. The money is assured. It's less, but I'm spending less. And I'm doing what I like doing. Mangali hopes his changed fate will spare his son from being dragged to the city to earn and survive. About 12 million people are added to urban areas every year. Most of them are migrants. Long ago, Mahatma Gandhi had said, rural India is poor because there is no work in rural India. The dynamics are working for consumer products that have nothing to do with basics like food and water for the poor. The richest 10% of India is consuming 34% of the nation's output. Something like 8,200 crore rupees are spent on advertising alone. The tilted balance is exploitative. Every day when you start a new day, look forward to what the very new day holds for you and move on. Plans revolve around the visible symptoms of disparity. They do not look at the root cause of alternative employment for the deprived. Naturally, many of the rural poor have just become legitimized, neglected vote banks in urban slums. In a New Delhi slum, Pipin Kumar feels blessed with ready access to free water and electricity. His father, Vijay Kumar, is an upper caste landowner from Bihar. He inherited just a small share of land that was washed away in floods. Like others, he came to the city with his sons and dreams. Bipin has no skills. He and millions of other migrants make a living somehow. The choices are not theirs. But Far away in Chitrakoot, an experiment in rural self-reliance now enables people like Mangali to make a choice. I am not being cheated by some carpet trader. I am not a laborer getting paid less than my due. They give me the raw material, pay me on time. Selling is not my headache. There is no risk, no danger. I don't need to go to the city anymore. That's what I keep telling everyone. Once a migrant, Mangali is one of the first to benefit from the plan of alternative off-farm employment. This is village Barhamawan in Madhya Pradesh. The statistics could be nearly the same anywhere. A small population of 300 people, 50% landless, 100% below the poverty line, with no means to earn, no food for their children. By 2001, India was ranked 124th on the Human Development Index. Meanwhile, people didn't dare to dream or hope this village had glorious ancestors, the largest number of freedom movement martyrs in any one place in the state of Madhya Pradesh. 
every inhabitant of Barhamawan may well ask, what did free India give us? The obvious answer is nothing. They say India lives in her seven lakh villages. Every third Indian below the poverty line lives like the people of Barhamawan. What is worse? The Human Development Report says 44% of the population is in poverty. That actually means almost every second Indian. It need not be like that. Things can be different. At 86, Nanaji Deshmukh, a nominated member of the Upper House of Parliament, is striving to regenerate rural areas into thriving centers of economic activity. The Chitrakoot campaign covers a radius of 50 kilometers. Patni, in a micro-watershed area, is one of the 80 villages experiencing the full thrust of a campaign to achieve self-reliance by 2005. The remaining 420 villages are targeted to achieve it by 2009. विकास सुखी हो सकता है, आनंदमय हो सकता है, उपकारक हो सकता है। Here at Patni, people have reason to believe Nanaji that development can take place by one's own effort in one's own lifetime. Kamta is a farmer in Patni. पहले यहाँ नहीं था पानी। Kamta now heads a self-help group of five farmers. They have paid back a loan of over 16,000 rupees and now earn by renting the diesel engine to other farmers. Kamta no longer needs to go and sell fuel wood in the nearby town. He not only has enough to eat, now he even sells grain and saves some money every year. Until a few years ago, people at Patni walked five to six kilometers just to get drinking water. Today, wheat and rice yields have doubled, and almost 60% of the population has been able to rise above the poverty line. <laughs> Eager to cultivate, villagers are now even staking claim to barren forest land. The Milli Watershed Program was the first step in the self-reliance campaign. The belief is that only permanent solutions for poverty will self-motivate people towards concepts of health and education. Greatest good of the greatest number. The king Hindu Sanika may Sarave Bhavan to Sukil Savi Sukio Yaka Chintan Sapke Sukakai. Human being has feeling. Human being is not only economic, human being is emotional. 
Economy is a must. Nobody can reject it. But economy with emotion, betterment for all, not for myself alone. So that is the concept.